I'm a couple of days out now from traveling over to the Eastern Cape so I, I need to set up my bike ready for um, holding my luggage system but to do that I need to first take off this adapter for what I call the commuting pizza box that's the top box that I use to go to work and that's just so that the the bag can lie a lot more flush with the with the back of the bike um, so it's not kind of floating up at the back it's a beautiful morning for doing something like this but yeah let's get the bike a little bit more ready to go hi everyone I just wanted to take this opportunity to say thank you for clicking on my video this is my first actual video that I've made and it's detailing my trip as I go from the uh, far western side of South Africa in Cape Town all the way over to Grahamstown in the far eastern side I really hope you enjoy the video and thanks for checking it out Good morning, everybody. It is not yet seven o'clock in the morning and I'm terrible at mornings. I'm just about to load the bike and set off on my long three-day trip heading east from Cape Town to Makanda. Uh, this is actually the first bike trip that I will do that's lasted more than just a day where I go somewhere and come back. I'll just show you what, what it is that I plan to do today. So I'm gonna do this itchy boot style. I'm gonna be starting out here in Cape Town and I'm gonna be heading all the way over to Mosel Bay, which is over here. And you could take this, uh, the N2 all the way across, which is the main road, but that's kind of boring and there's a lot of taxi problems at the moment. So I want to avoid that. So I'm actually gonna turn off the N2 about here and then hug the coast all the way down to Cape Agulhas, the most southerly point on the African continent. And then I'll head back up the N2 and just do the final part uh, all the way to Mosel Bay. I'm a bit tired, but the bike ride is gonna wake me up. I'm gonna get myself a banana now and head off. So let's do this. All right, the bike is loaded up. I'm ready. It's time to go. In true long way up, long way down, no, long way around. Fashion. First stop is obviously getting some petrol, but I'm nice and full. So time to go back on the road. Hey, dude! Follow the camera. <laughs> At some points on the journey I found myself on roads like this, just straight for miles and miles, not a single corner, just the sound of the wind, my engine and my own thoughts, and not a single car, on and on and on. I'm about to head off this tar road and head up that road. First bit of off-roading. Wish me luck. It was at this point in my journey that I managed to reach what I'm considering to be a major milestone. And that is reaching Cape Agulhas, the most southerly point on the African continent point which marks where the Indian and the Atlantic Ocean meet and it's somewhere that's been on my bucket list to visit ever since I saw you and McGregor and Charlie Borman do so in Long Way Down, what feels like so many years ago now. And I even managed to get my bike up onto the platform where you and Charlie positioned their BMWs when they did this journey. After that, it was a simple case of having a bit of food to eat and I was back on the road again, on my way to Mosel Bay.
Good morning, internet. It's a lot later this morning. It's Saturday now, so day two of my three-day trip traveling east. It's, it's a lot later in the morning. Uh, yesterday, I, I calculated it on Google Maps. I did around 580 kilometers in total. Today, I was planning to do a more kind of off-road oriented trip, kind of more inland and then through some mountain passes. But I'm gonna take it easy today and actually only travel about three or four hours heading east over to Jeffrey's Bay. The bike has been loaded up. My helmet, I've given it a bit of a clean. I'm now just gonna go clean my, my headlights and the windscreen, try and get some of the dead animals off it from yesterday. A lot of flies traveling through the kind of, you know, the rolling hills and the farmland. So I'm gonna clean that up. I'm gonna strip the bed to try and um, help, the, help the owners of the guest house I'm staying in. And then I'm gonna hit the road. It's a nice sunny day. It looks like it's gonna be a great ride and I'm looking forward to it. Okay, the bike's loaded up. The GPS is dialed in. I feel like this trip is just me fighting with my hair. <laughs> I knew at the end of the second day I was going to find it really difficult to describe what the heck was going on. I mean, every new corner just revealed a completely different biome or environment. One minute I'm going up a hill, the next I'm surrounded by some mountainous type of canyon. Then I'm diving back down and I'm by the beach again. And the next thing you know, the road is surrounded by what looks like humid tropical forest. It was very strange, but it was also really entertaining. Horses and ostriches. I just made a quick pit stop, got myself some fruit and some nuts. So had a, a great chat with this guy who's uh, he's stuck here. Um, his truck is broken down. Uh, this truck, right there, that big one. The uh, oil has just completely leaked out of his engine, so he's been waiting here for a day or two. But I'm going to have this fruit and nuts, see if that'll keep me going. And it's only about another two hours to get to my final destination. I think at that point I'll have myself a, a late lunch, maybe even a late lunch, early dinner or tea, and call it a day there for food, ready for my final leg tomorrow, which is the shortest leg by far. Hey again everyone, so I've just arrived in Jeffrey's Bay. This is the second stopover a night on my trip east, and I appear to have lucked out again because I have a very comfortable looking bed for the night. I've got a TV, although I very much doubt that I'll use that. And I have a very nice bathroom yet again. Very clean, nice looking, very big shower. <sighs> and this time my battery didn't run out so I could actually say, hooray, I've lucked out, I've got a nice bed for tonight.
I'm exhausted. It was another long ride. Not as long, certainly not as long as yesterday. But I'm going to pop on some normal clothes now. Uh, I'm going to try and walk into town and see if I can find somewhere nice to get some food. Yeah, I think that's a good plan. Very windy last day. Hopefully you can still hear me through the window. Quite well loaded up. Another shortish journey today. It's a very nice hotel. Very cozy. But time to the road and finish my three day journey east. Again, it's really difficult to describe how I was feeling on this third day and what I was experiencing. It had been a really long two days and admittedly, even though the landscape around me was becoming a lot flatter, a lot more open, a lot drier, and there were a lot of you know, game reserves with animals flying around and the occasional city like Port Elizabeth with its industrial kind of <laughs> dominance over the landscape. These are all very interesting things, but because it was that last day and I was kind of so tired, it wasn't long before my mind was really kind of stretching forwards to my final destination. And it wasn't long either before it showed itself and nestled in the valley below. That being Grahamstown and then onwards to, to Bushback Valley. Just like that, me and my bike have arrived and I'm going to put all my stuff inside. <sighs> Good morning. Okay, so it's not the final day of my journey, it's actually the day after, but after I arrived yesterday, I unpacked, I greeted everyone who was also here and the owners of the place that I'm staying, and it all kind of snowballed and ended up with me just going to bed eventually. But I've arrived. And I thought I would take this opportunity to do what I should have done yesterday and show my progress. So for that second day, if you remember, I finished, I came across from Cape Town and I finished over here in, in Mosel Bay. And then from there, actually, I stuck on the N2 because this whole section here is called the Garden Route and it's absolutely, it's absolutely beautiful. You'll probably see in some of the footage. So I traveled from Mosel Bay out of the Western Cape and over to here, finishing in Jeffreys Bay. And then on the final day, which was yesterday, I set up from Jeffreys Bay nice and late in the morning and I just traveled all the way up through here to Wakanda, Grahamstown. And that is the end of my three day journey. Uh, just waking up and here is my lovely view outside the, outside the bedroom that I'm staying in. Yeah, so, journey to Eastern Cape, complete. I guess this is probably the end of the video. If you've made it this far, thank you so much for joining me on this journey. Uh, yeah, hopefully see you in another video. Ciao!